Hello, good day everyone. Um, I welcome everybody to Sniperverse trading strategy and um, we focus on bringing day-to-day um, opportunity on the blockchain and cryptocurrency to our viewers out there and crypto lovers as well so um both new and old um folks are very much likely um very much welcome in our group we have um a telegram group and also a whatsapp group the whatsapp group is very active now the telegram group we are still trying to update some of the futures there and um, we'll still move um, to the telegram group finally so that it will be more active but we are more active on the um, whatsapp group for now but we are still um, a kind of um, finding it challenging to migrate everyone to the t- um, telegram group but that will be done in um, in no time so um, in this video now um, if you have been watching my previous video i've been doing a lot of video on stagnet okay so stagnet is in mainnet now so every interaction now that will position you very well and um, we increase your chances and also the unit of um, this uh, stack airdrop or coin they will give out would be very very um, very very important that you increase your um, interaction on the on that um, blockchain so they have a lot of protocol about um, I think about 24 or thereabouts uh, between 18 and 24 um, protocols that are currently operating on the stack um, net so um, stack quest bring us up to date uh, interaction to enable us building our scope of um, interacting with these protocols now so um, this um, post came in third of July I think um, it is yesterday today is fourth so um, it's um, an interaction to get this particular NFT this NFT is called optimism optimist sorry it's called zk led lend optimist nft so this nft now um i believe this interaction wink this interaction surely increases your chances of getting more of the coin and we are expecting um close to about two to five thousand dollars for um, um for each person that um will be eligible um to get from the airdrop so your interaction matters a lot i keep emphasizing on interacting with more of the protocols and i'll show you some of the protocols as we proceed in this video so this um this quest now we are demanded to perform some transaction i think um stagnet quest is partnering with um zk lend is a lending and borrowing um um, protocol or platform where you lend um, where you supply to borrow so I will do it practically in this video but you will be using refund because it's refund that um, is required here and there are um, criterias to successfully perform this um, tax before you are eligible to um, a kind of um, withdraw the or claim the NFT now the um, the ZK Lend um, Optimist NFT. So in order to get this new Optimist um, NFT, you need to complete the Stagnet quest. That will, okay, the Stagnet quest. Here is the link. Um, before we go to the link, let's uh, read on. The quest contains three taxes. Borrow thirty dollar worth of liquidity. So the thirty dollar worth of liquidity. Don't worry, I will explain here and I will do it practically in this video. That is how I've been doing all my video for any anybody at all. You don't need to be a crypto pro. If you watch my video, I'm telling you, you'll be um, able, more than able, to do the taxes yourself and complete it. You are not sending any money to me, and this is not uh, a financial advice. It's just for education. You you do it yourself and all, all the rest okay so gone are the days where i collect money to do um taxes for people that is why i open a youtube um, channel whereby i'll do it practically 
in my own wallet and show you guys out there so the quest um, the first instruction you have to borrow so you need to supply before you borrow then you follow zk lend um on twitter this is a twitter then you retweet uh, you retweet the first tweet of the thread so this i think basically this is um the tax but before you even qualify for this task none the prerequisite listed here now you need a stack net id root um, domain so watch my just go to my youtube um, uh, channel i think i've done um a video on um how you can be able to um um get your domain on stagnet okay so we we use basically two um wallet now on the stagnet which is the bravos wallet and the agent s so you can get your um stagnet id root domain via um those two wallets so just watch my video i won't be going into how to create an um, um, stagnant id root domain in this video but i've done a video on that so you, you just go watch that video and you also meet the criteria um which is the prerequisite now for you to start this interaction so be careful your domain need to be set as main to make it work so after i think i've done a video on setting your domain as main but if you are still confused okay if you are still confused the, here's the link to get the domain name and all the rest okay for the first task you need to borrow at least 30 dollar worth of crypto here is everything you need to know fully understand the zk lend um complete your task blah 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 you already know everything about money market lend and borrow to finish your tax blah 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 so uh i already have an understanding of what they are talking about so if you still need more information okay so just join the group all the links or you can even see on the screen here the main page where you can get all this information but further inquiries you can still join the group okay on the, um, whatsapp i think i will drop the link of the group on the description of this video for you to follow so first things first now we need to go to um my okay i need to first of all open the link to that tweet right let me let me get the link now i think i i went out of that page okay okay uh, let me find it via history now i think this should be it right okay let me just open that link so um ensure you already have fun on your um stagnant um on your wallet so i'm using the bravos wallet for this task and i've already deposited some refund in this um, wallet i'm about to use so approximately just have close to about um 50 dollar worth of um, whatsoever you want to use to a kind of supply and um, your supply will be the collateral so you will supply first you can't borrow without supplying and there is a minimum you can even borrow after your supply so if you are borrowing if you are, if you supply 50 dollar i don't think it's possible for you to even borrow uh, 50 dollar okay maybe you may even end up borrowing let's say 30 35 there about so the higher your um this thing now supply will determine how much you can borrow but you are not borrowing above your supply it's just like now presenting a property um to the bank and that property the value of the bank the value of that property now is less than what you are asking the bank to lend you it's less than the money you are asking the bank it, or it's more than it's less now okay it's less than the money you're asking the bank to borrow you let me in a literal term now let's say i have a property worth 30 million dollars right and i want to collect a loan from the bank let's say 50 million dollars it's not possible so my assets must not be less than the money i want to borrow from the bank so that is how this um, um lending and borrowing platform works as well so having said that okay there's money in my wallet now let me get to the link to start the task 
so um, mine will not take much time because I already have um, my domain set and as my main domain as root then um, I think I've, I have them on WhatsApp or there about I've, I'm following them on WhatsApp but le let me just connect my wallet and get to this tax proper so this is the interface where we will be led to all the other tasks so register a stack domain i've already registered the stack domain i'll just click on verify then this is the only task i've not done so i've i'm following zk lend on twitter i've retweet the quest thread so so it's just remaining this one now so let's go there i'll click on the drop down button click on borrow it will take me to the zk lend uh, interface where i will be able to supply and borrow some money as well okay so in this case now these are the options to borrow you can borrow ethereum you can borrow usdc you can borrow um wbtc you can borrow usdt and what have you now so in my own case now i want to um let me borrow that in this um, instance because i i notice i have um i think um let me see for me to supply okay i, I need to supply that before even borrowing okay let me see my dashboard i think i've done some transaction here before let me see access to supply borrow okay i don't think i have any transaction here okay i don't think i have any transaction here so far but it's still i'll still do it practically so that okay you you will get all the steps now so i need to supply I have, um, let me click on the supply button, connect my Bravos wallet. Okay, okay. After connecting my Bravos wallet, let me still check my dashboard. I think I, I have performed. Okay, it's coming out now. So, um, supply, your supply balance. I've supplied initially, but not for this tax, right? So, I was trying to increase the level of my transaction on Stagnet for better positioning to receive um, a higher unit of the airdrop so i've supplied uh, i think i supplied wbtc right okay uh, i borrowed sorry i borrowed wbtc i supplied die okay so um since i've borrowed before i still want to borrow btc at least i have some certain amount there to sum up to the um the 30 dollar what they require so let me supply ethereum you can supply any of the coin and borrow any of the coin so that is how it works let me just supply some um, amount of um, ethereum if i should use let me use okay I have 49 watt right so let me just use let me use 4308 so let me supply so you are you are borrowing cap okay your borrowing capacity sorry your borrowing capacity is 35 dollars okay borrowing power 2.2 um, 2, blah 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 limit used so let me just um, borrow the uh, supply sorry supply this now then um, after the supply i'll go to the borrow button so once this transaction is um, successful i will go back to my borrow button here i can see the amount i will be i'm eligible to borrow but I, since i've supplied above um the borrow um amount right the borrow amount we are asked in the task to borrow is um 30 dollar what right and um i've supplied 41 right so i think i should be able to borrow 30 dollar what or even 31 so um the transaction has not been carried out successfully yet um it's still processing as you can see in my wallet here is still processing so we must wait for the transaction to be 
successful before we can proceed to the borrowing button. So this is um, you can track your transaction using Stack Scan, and you can get that um, tracker from your um, from your wallet. So this is where this is the pro this is the progress so far. Immediately it gets here, the coin will reflect in my wallet. So let's just wait for it to get to this point, then we can continue from um, where we stop. I think once it's done now we'll just proceed to the borrowing button and um, I already have um, I already have some WBTC available that I have borrowed so I'm just going to add up to this now so that I will be able to have some fun left as well um, so let me see if um, the borrow button will pop up now uh, if it is possible for me to okay okay access to borrow let me see okay let's go and see mm. so the money is not yet reflecting it's still processing as we saw in that um, stack scan so once it's it's finished processing we can continue right so the money has not reflected yet if it has if it reflects we'll see it and we'll, we'll see the amount we are eligible to borrow so um how it works it shouldn't be difficult for you guys right because um it's, it's, it's just straightforward you supply first make sure you supply enough more than what you were asked to borrow okay if you can double it it's okay i'm not having much in this wallet that is why if not i have um, the intention of doubling it so that i won't i, I will just do the transaction if there is any limitation that um fund will also cover for it but i pray there is no limitation in my borrowing i'm just waiting for this to be successful now let me check the progress again so let's just wait a little bit right so our transaction has been carried out successfully now we'll proceed from this place now um as you can see the there's an update here now so borrowing power thirty seven dollars i'll click on the borrow button this is the borrow button you can choose any of the assets but since i've used um, btc wbtc before i think it's wise for me to still just add it up um let me see okay borrowing power i think is is good here let me let me set it to okay pull image reach hmm. let me still adjust it a little bit so this these are some of the challenges i was highlighting for us right okay so if wbtc will not work for us we'll just choose another coin maybe a stable coin because um the borrowing um the borrowing limit i believe is different with other coin that are not stable coin right so because um, if you if you notice right in the market here if you notice though it's not very clear because of let me change it to a, to desktop format and show us this I just want us to take a look at something here you see the market cap of all the um, crypto assets here right you see that ethereum has the highest total supply right so there's more interest on ethereum you see um, usdc uh, you see the gap in their total supply so i want to choose since i don't have much let me choose to borrow usdc right usdt so i've already supply okay let me bring it back to the normal format i've already supplied 
So it's time for me to borrow now. Let me go to the dashboard. This is the borrow option. Then I'll choose USDC. Let me see. I still have a borrowing power of 37. Can I use it all? I want to try and use it all. Okay, I can use it all with USDT. So it's not possible. Just take note of some of these um, um, hinges or some of these um, um, changes, right? You, you notice that I supplied above the required amount that the quest um, stated that we should borrow. I so the quest stated that we borrow thirty dollars worth of any of the coin, right? And I supplied forty one or thereabout. Can't really remember the exact figure now. So after the supply, I tried to borrow BTC. They are showing me in the on the platform that I have a borrowing power of thirty. Or is it 37 or 34 or thereabout? But when I clicked on 75%, they are telling me that I've reached the limit for BTC. But it's working with USDT because it's a stable coin. So why is like that with other coins? Is because of I I believe it's because of the market um, um, condition. Because other coin might pump in value, which will result to you earning more when you pay back you aim more right you benefit from the pump in price but it can drop as well so there's risk and there's also gain but for USDC it's not like that you understand you won't come back maybe you borrow you supply $30 and maybe you supply $40 and you come to borrow let's say $30 when you are refunding that borrow amount your USDC um, um, supply will not change, right? Your withdrawal will not change. So it will be the same amount you supply that you withdraw. So I believe for other coins, it will not be like that, that are not BTC. They, they might, there might be market conditions whereby there is a pump in price and you benefit from those pumps. That is why I, I strongly believe that is why it didn't go through for B, WBTC. But just to be on the, if you don't have much, in that particular wallet you are using so to economize you can just supply a stable coin and borrow a stable coin right so let me just borrow this um, above the amount we have been asked to borrow so um once i borrow okay transaction insufficient ether to pay for transaction fee so let me just get some ether to this wallet. I think I'm short of Ethereum here now. Let me see. If I'm short, I need to get some Ethereum to the wallet again to cover for the gas fee. So um, I just have to top my gas fee, uh, my Ethereum to cover for the gas fees. It's not much anyway, less than a dollar. And once that is done, now sign up. So just ensure you have uh, um, some ETH left, some Ethereum left to cover for the gas fee when um, performing this transaction. So um, assuming you deposited fifty dollar, don't supply all so that. Um, um you have a little left maybe to be on the safe side maybe two dollar left or five dollar to cover for all the transaction fee you'll be um carrying out carrying out okay uh let's the transaction is currently ongoing so let's just check and um let's track it through the our stack scan so once it's up to this um, stage here uh, it will be complete so it must have been completely um it will be complete for us to proceed right 
let me take us back to our okay our quest will not open uh, the um the button um the nft will not be open for us to claim until the transaction the borrow transaction is successful so we won't see the button will not be activated until that is successful though it it has already been programmed to only capture on the blockchain any wallet that have completed the borrow um, um that is the borrow option tax so if you have completed it you you'll be eligible to claim the nft so one thing with um airdrop like this right i know it's capital intensive but it's not as cap um, as much as other projects that are extremely uh having some hilarious um 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 a kind of amount to maybe complete their quest okay i've seen project that demand up to about you must carry out a trade of let's say three thousand dollars before you even qualify for the airdrop right but on StackNet, i've not seen any demanding above hundred dollar two hundred dollar so it's still uh we still within the range that okay if you really want to get into this program and this um eligibility criteria you want to fall on under these um people that will be eligible then you just have to make some sacrifices and do it at your own um at your own risk because i'm not guaranteeing anybody that the airdrop will come whether it will come or it will not come but i've experienced these things before and i just need to risk money doing this if it turns out good and it comes then we are expecting something of the range from the range of two thousand to five thousand dollars and if you even calculate all the money you have been using let's say all the tra if you if you sum up all the transaction fees that you have um paid for all the transaction you have been doing on the stagnant um, question what have you it will not even be up to quarter of the airdrop that you will get later on okay i cannot categorically tell you that i'll spend all in all the transaction fee now is just what is taken out from all the transaction now is just what is taken out from my money okay as in expenditure that okay all the interaction i've been carrying out i don't think the transaction fee combined on stagnet is even up to 200 dollars right it's between the range of let's say 1050 if i combine it all all so some um, um some um stagnet quest and um, your your some stagnet quest like the one of agent x they don't demand that much there are others that don't demand that much so it's even of recent that this liquidity providing liquidity with real money 30 dollar leave it for one month and all the rest um borrow supply and all the rest start coming in but i've seen that they might use it as eligibility criteria and if you don't hold that, those nfts you won't be eligible for the airdrop they might i'm not saying it must be so i'm just saying do all you can do to position yourself well so that even if they change the criteria you still fall into those that will be eligible so let's still check if our transaction has been um, carried out successfully if not we'll still um, wait a little while right let me see i think it has been done successfully i'm not seeing that reflecting here anymore but let me still go to the app and check the it um the scan the stack scan i'm used to it as scan okay um it's still processing we just wait a little while right um so just take your time um study start if you have not started yourselves 
join the group i'll give you more info the reason for the group and uh, on youtube i create video post video there you understand so there's no much in a uh, one-on-one -on -one interaction on youtube except maybe for these videos that i i i put out there for you people to watch and follow the guide but on the group you get to interact with me one-on-one -on -one, right so once you get to the group the link will be available at the description okay both um the telegram and or you can even send me okay now you can send me a comment i won't drop the link at the description if you really want to join the group right i just want to see some level of seriousness from you that okay you really need to get into this and um, you want to join the group then i will send you if you drop a comment that you want to join the group i will send you the link there's nothing there that i'm charging i'm not charging anything everything is free for now so and all the opportunity is not hidden it's revealed to everybody there okay i've really um guide people through through the years and they have made made a lot of money via some of these tutorials and some of this airdrop that have come and gone okay so now um let's check and um see if we have the transaction ready now it's still processing let's just give it some time so uh, our transaction has been processed successfully so let's just go to the page where we'll claim the um the nft right okay let's wait for it to open for us okay i have to log into my wallet now so why this side is opening less um okay i think it's open now so um let me see if my wallet is connected okay my wallet is connected so um i think um let me just verify this and um, i think i'm done with that and um, let me see just to be sure and confirm again but this um those tax have successfully carried them out um let's see okay now um the borrow option so it's done now and the nft is available for us to claim so once okay there's a claim button i have to sign in the transaction so this is the gas fee i'm paying for this transaction just to mint the nft so once the minting is done successfully it will take maybe maximum within the range of one let's say within the range of 30 to one minute 30 um 30 seconds to one minute the nft will appear in your wallet so i've already successfully now um your nft is on the way and uh, successfully i've carried out this tax so it's is that simple right and uh, let me check um the my quest my profile uh, okay this are so far all the all the quests i've been following them um and um, this has the reward okay it's reflecting on, in my wallet now look at the zk land uh optimus uh nft so it's available now in my wallet and um, let me just take us there okay let me use the app i think the app will be better for us to see the nft we just claim now okay this is the app and um, let me get this out of the way then there's a button for nfts okay um let me see if it is here now okay it has not reflected in the um app yet but it's already on the website as you can see accomplish your stagnant quest 
so it's already available on my item on the starquest website so if, you, if i will take you back uh, let me check this is my profile okay okay stagnant achievement so far so um there's something i want to show us here again the more you are performing and using the different protocols on stagnant it increase your your pro score so i have 65 percent which is already a pass mark okay and they will use all of this criteria now for the airdrop to pick eligibility those that are eligible so these are all my um, um, achievements so far all these are taxes we did and there's there was an nft allocated to each tax so uh, this is um, this is it so these are all my achievements and another thing i want to show us before we go right let me open my okay let me open my my web wallet and see so the transaction is still is still processing right but it's already available on the let me check nft here okay so but um not not to worry um the most important thing is that we have performed the transaction and we have minted the nft so it will just take let's say some couple of uh, minutes to appear on your wallet and um, before we go right let me show something here now you can track all your transaction using the stagnet wallet okay so if you come here now if you come to dApps, so your stack pro score you can track it here my 64 percent then put the uh, the button here to all to see the various dApps you have interacted with the dApps you have interacted with will be ticked with um will be ticked good as you can see here here is ticked here is ticks i've interacted with these dApps so here is not tick so i've not interacted with these dApps so um some of the the dap the dApps you did not interact with it will not be ticked so that you know and start using them so i've interacted i just interacted with this one but if you check this on the web um on the web uh, web um, version right it will tell you the number of transactions you have done here on this particular protocol but on the app it doesn't give much detail but let me show you from the website uh, so that we just uh, compare and contrast some of those details okay dabs i'll go to dabs and uh, okay let me see okay 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 let me let me go still go back and show us something so you can track your level of progress and it's very vital you track your level of progress because it will help you to a kind of broaden the uh, the the scope of your interaction okay so since i know i have not interacted with this one now so my next target will be the ones that i have not interacted with so that before they they take the snapshot i'm already done with all the various protocols here and it will give me better um, um better chances of getting the maximum out of the um airdrop that will be given okay so guys this is how far we can go but um let, lastly lastly let me just see check if it is if it has reflected here now do we have it here the transaction is still still here still pending i just want to be sure and show you that the the minted nft will be sent 
is an assurance once you perform the task okay the transaction the progress of the transaction is still halfway so let's just wait for it a little bit before i end this video i just want to show you guys that it it has been sent right okay um since we have it processed completely here now let's go to our wallet to check the nft must be reflecting now so it's the last thing i want to be sure and show us here before ending this video so the nft is in our wallet now okay so once the task is completed and um, you meet the nft just give it some time maximum just let's say maximum five minutes to reflect in your wallet so um please and please um make your own decision right it's not a financial advice but we have gained from this throughout the years and um i won't say um i won't ask anybody to borrow which is not wise if you don't have just do the free stuff but if you are convinced and you want to maybe risk some money it is your own decision to make my videos have not for any they are not any in any form financial advice is just purely education and just invest and um, based on your own conviction and decision and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification button so that when nice i do videos like this you get notified to watch and um, make sure you share the video with friends and also like and comment if there will be anything you would love to say so thank you guys for seeing our next video bye for now